This is a lovely pool home, 2118 Southeast 10th place. So it's directly on the Rubicon Canal. This is the neighborhood. There is a vacant lot there. Little bit of a hump when you come up the driveway. And a step up here. Screened in area, nice mature landscaping, gutters around the front, it does have hurricane shutters, which are manual. This is nicely updated with beautiful tile. They've opened the kitchen all up. So the kitchen, living room, all be open floor plan. So you have a slider, a pass through window, and there's another slider in the, out of the family room and a slider out of the master. This is looking back to the front door. The glass door and side light is nice to let in some bright sun. This is Western Exposure. They did the tile up the wall in lieu of a baseboard. These are all soft clothes hardwood cabinets. Accordion shutters are out on the lanai, and it is a big, nice covered truss area. And you should have a nice water view of the canal. There's maybe a few trees that need to be thinned out, um, but there's water on the screen, so you don't really get a good water view. But you can definitely see the Rubicon's a 200 foot wide canal, which is the main access up and down, so you would see a lot of boat traffic. Uh, family room here and the slider out and laundry with a tub, some cabinets. There is um, two steps down into the garage, has a side service door. It's definitely a deeper garage, and then there's a closet over there for some storage. I don't believe that would be a hurricane rated impact door, garage door though. But it's nicely fresh painted, nice and clean look and feel to it. No carpet. And then back into here, you've got some nice travertine tile. This is a pocket that would shut that area off. That is the two guest bedrooms and the guest bath, which is also a pool bath. Very large guest room here. Walk-in, that is, a, this is a walk-in closet. Both the guest rooms have walk-in closets. Ceiling fans in all the bedrooms, guest bath, door out to the lanai. So this bath has been updated. They left the original tub and did tile, but that could be taken out. And then guest bedroom number two, no slider to the lanai. And this bedroom is not quite as big as the other one but you do have a walk-in closet. And this whole area can be shut off with this pocket door from this family room. So this is looking back in the family room. Living room, all open together instead of that traditional L that shuts everything off. And then the master, all the interior doors are nice too. The master's got the slider out. It's also got the nice travertine tile. Um, the French pattern, I think is what they call that. Oh, baseboards. Um, so this is a king size bed. And I would put the bed, the headboard on this wall. So we can get both nightstands. And you have a nice size closet here. 
walk-in closet here. The shower is a little narrow getting in. But you do have your valve here, your shower box, and your head back there. And it is a little step down. But the vanity here is updated. And then you've got a water closet here which I think some of these doors might be a little too much on these bifolds, but. Now let's go look outside. That's what we spend all of our time at. Little step down out. This nice wall over here for privacy would be a great place for an outdoor kitchen. It does have the in hurricane sliders here. That's the pool bath. That's your pocket door from the family room, the kitchen, back to the living room. So that guest bedroom window, you could put a slider there if you wanted. Nice hot tub. Cool showing its age. I mean, I doubt it's leaking. It just is a cosmetic thing. But there's the water, a lot of nice landscaping. All in the pool here. Cobweb. Okay, going back around this way. Um, no pool heater. But there's been one at one time because there's a pad sitting there for it. And a, a separate panel, electric panel, sub panel. Nice area around the pool and around a sunning area. Plus then you've got all of this area here that they've pavered, fenced in yard. Got some fruit trees, bananas, coconut trees. I mean, it's maybe a little too much. Nice sidewalk down. Seawall looks good. Electric is out here. So this boat lift just would need to be readjusted for your boat. I mean, it's a big enough cradle for sure. What's the, oh, and it's got a remote. It is listed at, um, it's only listed at 4,000 pounds. Wow, this is an awful, I find that hard to believe. I mean, this is, I don't see any rust. I would definitely have this checked out. A lot of fruit trees for sure. Avocados, lime or lemon, Myers lemon maybe. Oh, those are beautiful. And they raised the price $10,000 overnight. So there's the tile again, all the recessed lighting. 
updated light fixtures, kitchens, beautiful.